hello friends so today we are going to discuss uh, lindlas catalyst and adams catalyst in this uh, particular lesson so before discussing this uh, to catalyst i would like to give a brief very brief introduction about the reduction reaction and i know that uh, you or uh, you have some sort of idea what is basically reduction reaction and means hydrogenation of functionality takes place in this particular reaction and this reduction can be takes place either in the presence of some metals we are using some metals uh, with hydrogen so that condition is called catalytic hydrogenation like palladium platinum we are using this kind of metals with hydrogen gas so this these are called catalytic hydrogenation and we are going to discuss uh, this category of hydrogenation in this lesson particular today so we'll talk about linda catalyst where palladium is used we will talk about uh, adams catalyst where platinum is used so uh, this is all about hydrogenation catalytic hydrogenation and we have already discussed the hydride transfer reduction reaction in which hydride transfer takes place lithium aluminum hydride and sodium borohydride so we know the mechanism of these uh, two functionality how they reduces the carbonyl functionality or other even other functionality and the third category of this reduction reaction is that uh, we have some metal which are dissolved in certain solution so that, that, that is called dissolving metal and the birch reduction is a common example which comes under this category so we'll talk about this birch reduction also in the coming lessons when we will start our name reaction uh, part of this uh, or uh, this youtube channel so today uh, as part of the hydrogenation as part of the reduction reaction we are going to discuss this particular uh, hydrogenation catalytic hydrogenation using palladium and platinum so one is lindlar catalyst uh, one is lindlar catalyst and the next one is called adams catalyst so this lindlar is basically a mixture of 5% palladium on calcium carbonate so this is getting absorbed palladium is getting absorbed on this calcium carbonate then we are adding lead acetate and this vinylene as a catalytic catalyst poison which reduces the catalytic activity of this palladium so that the functionality like if we have alkyne that that alkyne is getting only converted up to cis alkene so this alkene will not further undergo hydrogenation to ensure that this alkene will not further undergo hydrogenation we have to add this kind of poisons so this is the lindar catalyst and this adams catalyst is hydrogenated this is uh, hydrated not hydrogenated hydrated platinum oxide so this this particular uh, catalyst is also shown in this form pdo2.h2o so once we are treating some functionality particularly alkene functionality with this catalyst we are getting this hydrogenated compound in which addition of hydrogen takes place in the cis fashion so these are the two important conversion one is uh, from lindlar we are getting alkene sorry alkyne to alkene and from adams we are getting alkenes from alkenes so these are the two interesting catalysts and which are used for uh, the preparation of alkene or alkene respectively all right so this was first invented by herbert lindlar and on his honor we know this catalyst nowadays and we already discussed of what are there in this catalyst we know that palladium is added on this calcium carbonate and if you ask me that how we can prepare this lindlar catalyst then the preparation is very easy we have to add palladium chloride on the slurry of calcium carbonate and then we have to add lead acetate which is uh, catalyst poison so this this is it the preparation is very very easy the application is uh, most important uh, in i mean and the application part is of course most important because whenever we ask whenever we study some catalyst then we have to know that what is the exact use of some particular catalyst or reagent and this lindlar catalyst is specifically used for the reduction of triple bond and that is reduced into double bond so if we have phenyl acetylene we have a triple bond here and we are using the 
we are treating this uh, phenyl acetylene with the lindlar catalyst then we are getting this styrene so the addition of hydrogen takes place in styrene in this fashion that is interesting also and we will talk about it why it is in this fashion because of the mechanism of this hydrogenation pattern so the alkyl hydrogenation is always stereo selective so we are getting cis alkene we have a possibility that formation of trans alkene may be there uh, of course but we have a selectivity of uh, cis as a major product so that's why it is a stereo selective reaction of course so some part uh, some uh, some sort of trans is also form in the solution which is very less uh, that is a minor product so stereo selective like if we have this uh, acetylene dicarboxylic acid this is acetylene dicarboxylic acid and we are treating with the uh, lindlar catalyst then we will get this cis hydrogenated alkene which is also known as malic acid as a major product under this uh, catalytic condition uh, and of course if you have this alkyne then it can be understood we are getting this cis alkene again we have this phenyl alkyne then of course here also we are getting this cis alkene so this is an example from organic reaction book uh, that is written by zero mind so you see this is structure we have different double bond different functionality o carbonyl group a lot of functionalities are there but once we are treating this compound with lindlar catalyst then selectively this triple bond is getting reduced so no other bond is getting reduced so that is the beauty of this catalyst Some examples which are taken from cladem uh so if we have this alkyne then we are getting this cis alkene we have a cis fraction of double one we have this alkyne we are getting always jet or cis alkene and again here also we are getting cis alkene so this is the uh, these are actually important uh, synthetic modification that we can achieve using this lindlar catalyst so you see here this is alkyne we are treating with lindlar catalyst and we are getting cis alkene but there is a important reaction which is there in organic chemistry and if we have to prepare trans alkene from this alkyne then we have to follow this route we have to follow birch reduction condition and under birch reduction we are always getting this trans alkene we'll talk about this also but not today and uh, of course this is a mechanism which is shown here we have this alkyne and we have this uh, surface on this surface hydrogen is getting absorbed so this hydrogen can be can be getting added here on the cis fashion so that is what it is shown here actually so here are some examples so if you ask me the mechanism that how this reduction takes place then we know that this palladium is getting absorbed from the surface of calcium carbonate and we are adding this lead acetate and quinoline as a catalytic poisons because this is the surface of palladium and on the surface of palladium this acetate and this phenylene nitrogen are getting coordinated so the reactivity the surface uh, activity of this palladium is somewhat reduced so once we are adding alkyne on this activated catalyst this pi bond is getting uh, coordinated with the metal ion not metal ion it is metal actually so now once it is uh, coordinated this pi complexation takes place then hydrogen is getting absorbed and this hydrogen can be can be added on this alkyne bond in the cis fashion so this is the pictorial diagram you can see from here and once it is formed it is getting eliminated and this catalyst is, is getting regenerated so this is a very simple mechanism uh, so this is a mechanism which is generally used for any kind of hydrogenation heterogeneous hydrogenation you can say so in summary uh, we have to know about lindlar catalyst is that how we can prepare this catalyst and what is the structure what is the composition of this catalyst so we know now that we are adding 5% of palladium on calcium carbonate we are adding some catalytic poison most commonly lead acetate and we are also using this quinoline or sulfur compound so the important application of this catalyst is uh, we can convert alkyne into cis alkene so that is the most important uh, application and of course it is also a useful a very useful synthetic transformation we are getting this uh, stereo selective uh, product we are getting cis alkene in the major form and uh, mechanism we have already discussed the mechanism is of uh, heterogeneous catalysis so that is nothing unique so now uh, coming to next part uh, which is adams catalyst and we know that adams catalyst is uh, 
hydrated platinum oxide so this is the structure of this uh, catalyst it is shown in this form and it is most specifically used for the hydrogenation of alkene especially and to get the alkanes and in commercially it is it exists in the dark powder form so this dark powder form is not the activated uh, form of the catalyst once we are adding hydrogen on this powder then hydrogen is getting absorbed on the surface of this platinum so then it will become active and it can further reduce uh, the alkene double bond as far as the preparation of this catalyst is concerned we treat this chloroplatinic acid as 2 ptcl6 with sodium nitrate then we are getting this platinum nitrate and once we are getting this platinum nitrate we have to heat this platinum nitrate so that platinum oxide is formed so this is the very uh, very easy route for the synthesis of platinum oxide it was first invented by v Woos and this roger adams so these are the two scientists which we have which have invented and the preparation of this adams catalyst all right so i'm not going to discuss the lot of theory but uh, this is the most common application you can see here we are using this platinum catalyst and then we are getting almost 82 percent of the cis alkene cis alkane uh, we can say because the addition of hydrogen takes place in the cis fashion so we are getting uh, these two substituted alkyl group are above the flame so this is cis orientation this one is trans orientation so cis is the major product that is uh, should be seen from this slide all right so here are the some application of this adams catalyst and these are uh, these examples can be found on william carrother book so if you want to study this example then you can also go through this book so this is the alkene and we are using this adam catalyst then we are getting you see here this is the uh, substitution of these two functionality in the cis fashion so of course the sterilic ratio 95 is to 5 almost all we are getting this this uh, stereochemistry of alkane then we have this double bond and also it is getting reduced we have this double bond then we are getting almost 82 percent of the compound in which hydrogenation takes place in cis fashion if we are using this platinum oxide or Adams catalyst but under ordinary condition if we are using ordinary hydrogenation in the presence of palladium then we can see here almost 16 percent and 46 percent of the products are found so the yield is less and even we are getting mixture of products so that is the important you know aspect of this Adams catalyst we can get almost almost uh, one or almost cis alkylated alkene so that is important so this is another example from this book here you can see we have a functionality carbon is here and OH is here but alkene is here and once we are adding this platinum oxide then this double bond is getting reduced so this is interesting mechanism is same uh, this is a mechanism for the hydrogenous catalysis so that is very 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 easy this is the metal surface and hydrogens are getting absorbed here so once we are adding alkene then alkene is also absorbed because they have a pi bond and then they can they can coordinate with metal bond so they form a kind of a metal surface bond a carbon metal bond and once hydrogen is there then hydrogen atom is transferred from surface to alkene and first uh, uh, one hydrogen is transferred and then second hydrogen is transferred once it is saturated then it can be easily detached from the metal surface so we can have alkane all right so this is it from the adams catalyst we know the preparation and we know how it works mechanism was very easy and application is we can prepare almost uh, almost more than 80 percent of alkane cis alkane uh, using this platinum oxide if we hydrogenate alka alkenes so from alkenes to alkanes in this fashion we can get using this Adams catalyst so I hope this uh, lecture will help you to learn the fundamental aspect of lamellar catalyst and Adam catalyst we know the structure of these two catalysts we know the components of this catalyst and uh, we know what are the main application of these two catalysts and of course the mechanism which is heterogeneous mechanism so that is also well obvious so next we will discuss anhydrous alcl3 uh, it is also an important reagent which is used for many synthetic transformation we'll talk about it so i hope it is useful for for chemists thank you